What's up guys, I got another 1x player video for you. I wanted to talk to you about some of the peripherals I got. Um, starting with the two pens I bought. Now, I bought these two pens on Amazon. The links are in the description. This pen came with, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, pen, stylus. This stylus came with a pack of, of about 10. Costed about, uh, I believe it was like six or seven bucks. And, you know, it's one of those standard those standard uh, stylus that you can use like on phones and whatnot. This has like a little ballpoint top. I can't get my camera to focus on it. There we go. It has like a, a ballpoint. I mean, not ballpoint top. The circular top. It's good for, you know, doing basic stuff. But it's really horrible when it comes to writing or, or drawing or anything like that on the Windows thing. But it does work. And it's very cheap. This one costed about, I believe it was, I believe it was 30 bucks, okay? And it, it is battery powered. I had to put one AAA battery in it. Let me show you guys that real quick. What the hell? Okay. So yeah, it does have one AAA battery that it comes with to put in there, so doesn't have a lot of weight but I mean I guess it depends on uh, what you consider heavy but it's like a uh, stylus pen it's just not one of them small ones and actually it works beautifully it advertises that it's certified for the Surface Pro all of the Surface Pros and a Lenovo laptop and all this kind of stuff but it works really nicely guys so if I had to recommend a pen I would definitely recommend this one now, after I ordered this already, I realized that there was a one netbook pen specifically made for the um, one of the one of their devices, uh, one of the one 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 mix devices, one me, or however you pronounce it, and uh, it's about the same price, so I didn't feel too bad about ordering this one. Uh, but yeah, link is in the description if you want it. This peripheral is pretty nice. It's uh, accurate. I can do whatever I want. And it has this little laser, as you can see. I'm not even, uh, I'm not even touching the screen, but it already knows. It highlights without even touching the screen, which is pretty weird. And you know, I never had one of these before, but it's it's really nice. It's really smooth. And as far as typing is concerned, very nice. It's like a regular pen. So. Um, if I had to recommend a pen for this device, definitely this will be it. But again, I haven't tried the One X, the One One Netbooks pen, so. But I would assume that it would be just as good as this. It's probably uses the same technology because this is uh, perfect for Windows. So, uh, someone did ask me if I would recommend a, a, a stylus for this. I keep calling it a pen. And, uh, well, this is going to be the one I recommend because it's really nice. The only downside is, you know, we don't have anywhere to put it <laughs> when we're done. There's no slots or, oh, oh, there we go, a magnet. Well, I just figured that out just now. That is a good spot to put it. Is it safe? I don't know. Is the magnet strong enough? Mm, I don't know. It depends on how violently you shake your uh, device while you're gaming. But seems to be <laughs> the best way to carry it i guess anyway so let's check out another peripheral that i recently got which is the uh the keyboard which the magnet down here is mainly for so a few things about the keyboard um it's good if you need a keyboard and mouse uh, attachment if you're gonna have this in your house and you're gonna be using this mostly for inside stuff because it's definitely not portable. It's not something you can just take out and start using. I mean, I guess it's portable in a sense. Um, okay, so let me just explain to you guys what I mean. So it attaches here at the bottom, right? Makes that sound, and uh, then you're able to use the keyboard, which is pretty nice. The, the mouse is okay. Sometimes... The input's a little weird. I don't know if it's because I have oily skin, but sometimes, you know, you're moving it around and then it just stops. Now, I don't know. Like I said, it could be just me or the way I'm using it. Um, but it does sit comfortably on the desk. Sorry, I got a weird angle here. 
I don't have a desk, guys, so I have I have a desk that has a whole bunch of crap on it that I took off just for this thing to try out. And it 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 it, it, it does its job. It's it it it's a keyboard. Um is it a necessity for this device? I'll have to say no, because two things. First of all, if you're taking it with you on the go, it's actually going to be less convenient to have it attached to you because this is only it's not um, Bluetooth powered. It's powered by the device itself. So it's actually, be to me, anyway, it'd be more of a hassle to actually have it attached, whereas any other keyboard, you could just take it off, put it on your lap, or, you know, or, you know, be able to move it around even if you're using it on the desk you know you want to be able to move it around comfortably i don't think having having it being stuck in one position would be very comfortable so i think a bluetooth keyboard would be um, keyboard and mouse would probably be more ideal but i mean it depends on who you ask everybody has their own opinion about it um as far as the comfortability and the buttons are very clicky. Um, I really have no issues other than the positioning. I wish the positioning of the keys were the same as the GX Pro positioning because that feels so comfortable. And actually, the keys feel really good, too. This doesn't feel, I mean, as sturdy, as far, I guess, as the GX Pro. But this is attached to the device, so you can't really compare, I guess. Uh, I would have liked the keyboard positioning to be the same, but that's just a personal preference. Uh, yeah, but like I said, guys, I mean, it's not really portable unless you have big hands like me and you can just hold the whole thing in one hand and like like a table, use your hand as a table and then type with the other hand. Um, I guess you can do that. Maybe it'll be more convenient for you. And so... Uh, another thing that kind of sucks about it is that uh, the magnet is not strong. It'll just fall right off. The magnet is very weak. So it's not like you can just have it open like that and be using it because it'll just fall right off. Now it has this feature where it closes over your screen, right? Which is pretty nice. It's just like the iPad, it puts the screen to sleep when it closes over. But, again, it just falls right off if you angle it the wrong way. So, I don't know that that's useful at all um, to me. But, I mean, for, for someone else, maybe. Uh, I would have liked that there were strong magnets over here or something that will keep it on there. So, when you turn it upside down, it won't fall off. Or when you turn it sideways, it won't slide off and hit the ground. I think that would make it a little bit more portable. But, um, yeah, let me get get you guys a uh, zoom in and show you guys what the keyboard format is. We do have um, all the F buttons and all that stuff. But like I said, with my touchpad, it was a little weird. I don't know. If I have oily skin, so I don't know if that was altering it. But uh, I'd rather use the touchscreen or the pen uh, than, than the mouse pad. But... It might be different if you're buying this device to be... I mean, I bought it for portability to take it with me and stuff. And this is just not ideal for that. I mean, unless you're just going to do something quick in a game. Like get into, for instance, if you want to use the uh, semicolon or something like that. I noticed in, in game, um, someone asked me to... Uh, in Fallout... Was it Fallout 4? To try to use the on-screen keyboard to... See, my on-screen keyboard is glitched now ever since I used Fallout. It went, it went, it went to a very strange size. I'm going to figure out how to reset it because Fallout was stretched out. But anyway, somebody asked me to use the on-screen keyboard to, uh, to, use the, to, to press this button to get into the uh, menu and see if it works. And it didn't, so when I plugged this in and pressed it, it works. So it has its benefits, but uh, to me, the benefits of this keyboard uh, doesn't outweigh the benefits of having a com totally wireless keyboard because remember this has to be attached or you can't use it because it's not battery powered it has no bluetooth it's only powered by the device um there was a rumor going around in the discord mentioning something like if you plug this in 
then your TDP skyrockets by itself automatically. Uh, that's not true. It doesn't draw like crazy amount of power, but maybe maybe this does. I don't know. I've used it for a little bit, and I haven't seen any difference in the battery power versus not using it um, idle. But maybe during gaming is something different. But the TDP doesn't skyrocket when you plug it in, so I'm not sure on what basis uh, people have made that assumption. But I don't know. Maybe they did some extensive tests that I don't know how to do. I'm not crazy tech savvy. But uh, that's my opinion on a keyboard. It's more of a, it feels like more of a second thought. I think they could have made it a little bit better. Maybe they could have allowed you to, first of all, made the, t the magnet a little bit heavier so it doesn't just fall off and maybe allow you to, you know, flip it a different way, maybe in the back. So while you're gaming, you could just flip it out or something like that. I don't know. But then again, that would have covered the air vents in the back, which wouldn't be ideal for gaming. So, I don't know. I don't know, guys. You tell me what you think. But uh, this this came included with my device, uh, the first pre-order. It just took forever to get here because uh, they, sent, they sent it out later. But, uh, I mean, if it's included for free, you know, why not? Paying separate for it, it depends on the person, like I said. Uh, me personally i don't think i would use it very often maybe a few times you know, just because i have it but it'd be pretty much casted to the side but anyway i just wanted to show you guys a few peripherals that i recently got so we got the pen and then we got the i mean i'm sorry the stylus uh like i said this thick one is mostly for phones if you're using a phone and you can scroll or whatever and click things you know it's a little bit more reliable on the phone for android or something like that not really for windows because sometimes you know you're writing and then it skips a second it skips and it selects another position you got to press hard you know it's not, not really worth all that trouble you can get this for 30 bucks or you can try the uh, one netbook pen which i believe is on aliexpress for about the same 30 bucks this is on amazon amazon prime so you know i don't know how long aliexpress usually takes and i'm not saying one is better than the other because i don't have the aliexpress thing but amazon prime you know gets to you in two days so at least you know you have a guaranteed time frame but yeah thank you so much for watching i just wanted to show those uh, quick little things i do have a ton of games on here that I, that you guys requested that i'm going to be doing uh testing videos on i just haven't had the time yet but i'm trying to make some time tonight between tonight and uh tomorrow morning and uh and try to squeeze a lot of videos in this week so thank you so much for liking and subscribing and you know hey i hope you guys get your 1x players fast so that and hopefully my videos are helping all right and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks so much